Good morning, aspirant. So, how was the surprise? In the last test, it was electrochemistry, right? In the preliminary test, the syllabus was electrochemistry, but in the syllabus, it was a uh, topics were of conductance, right? But the name was electrochemistry. But in the test, there were mostly questions from electrochemistry and few questions from conductance. Why? If you analyze 2024 GS paper, then in G GS paper generally, all those general topics are mentioned, but one topic among them is science. So in the general science, there were many questions from numerical question from physics itself, from advanced physics, uh, graduation level. Okay. So this type of physics question, this was the specialty of this year GS paper. Every year there is something new in any UPS paper. So who can say next year you will not expect any question from physics. Let's say this year it was done for physics. Next year it can be chemistry. So we have to prepare. We have to get ourselves prepared for that. Okay. So there were many more numerical questions. So and in you know in entire chemistry syllabus only electrochemistry portion. This is not in preliminary syllabus in a major way, but it is a numerical intensive chapter. That's why. There were much questions from electrochemistry. Okay. So in this test, I am not putting the ranking. Okay. So in the next uh, test, I am going to discuss the syllabus. But before that, uh, congratulations to all of them who have completed the entire syllabus of preliminary exam with this test series. And I salute your courage that you are consistent. Now, uh, in the next text, as we have completed our syllabus topic by topic uh, for one time, right? It's time for major test. Okay, it's time for major test. Major test means in the chemistry portion, syllabus will be either inorganic, either organic or physical. Okay, so this is the meaning of major, major test. In the next test, you will have major test of inorganic chemistry. Okay. You will have inorganic chemistry in the major test. Okay. This was this will be your chemistry. Now for GS paper, your syllabus will be current affairs from July. August, September, October. This four month current affairs will be syllabus for your GS section. This year, if you analyze that there was questions from current affairs from December itself, December 2023, but the exam was in February 2024, right? Questions were from December itself. So you have to give emphasis on current affairs so this will be your syllabus for your next test next week okay and it's time for main syllabus uh, let me change the color main syllabus it will be organic chemistry because in preliminary exam there are few topics from organic chemistry not much but in main syllabus cover as much you can organic chemistry syllabus i am putting entire organic chemistry read as much as you can first complete the syllabus for you know for preliminary test and who have taken mains only just read organic chemistry as much you can based on your main syllabus okay few things i want to mention which i found in your copy first of all a space related problem i have told you you have to make yourself constrained in the given space only 
when you are writing one answer when you are giving question number after writing question writing uh, you have to write full marks here okay 5 or 10 or 15 okay write full marks here and as i have told you you have to give your dedication towards quality of your answers okay not in a time bound manner so you are you guys are writing really good answers i did not expect in the first round in the first phase of your preparation you will able to write such good answers okay as your checked copy copies were shared with you and suggestions were given there but these are some general suggestions first of all this space constraints because some students what did they, they take they took extra pages that will not be entertained if in the final mains paper if you write in some extra pages those will be just cut okay so keep that in mind after that as you are taking unlimited time at uh, in attempting this test in the initial segment of our preparation what you have to do in the beginning of the question paper after finishing the question paper just write time taken by you so uh, you may put one stopwatch while starting the examination and after completing your answers at once just write the time taken by you and your target should be minimize this time with test test okay those don't just run after you know time though don't put any timer okay that will count down your time no just put stopwatch that you are measuring how much time you are taking okay first focus on quality answer writing because if you start writing bad answers in less time then it will not be good with time it will be bad okay so first focus on quality of answer if you are writing good quality answer after few tests you will uh, yourself you will understand that yes my answers are uh, in a decent quality then your job will be writing answers in a time bound manner okay so i'll be telling you when you should start uh, in a time bound manner but in the next test itself it is also uh, no time limit you are having so these were the syllabus for your next test all the best meet you in the next segment of our test series have a nice day jai shri krishna radhe radhe